Hello friends, we're back again for story time. I've picked out a book that I hope that you really enjoy. It's a little golden book, which I had a lot of when I was a child, so I hope that you guys love them as much as I do. Um, they have really beautiful illustrations, and this one is about um, different creatures that we find in nature. Hopefully while we're off school, you're getting to spend a lot of time outside Maybe you can look for some of these things in your yard. The book is called Wonders of Nature. You see that little child on the front? What is she looking at? Is that a caterpillar? Maybe we'll find some more caterpillars in the book. Let's take a look inside and see. Wonders of Nature. Oh, look at there. Even on the front page, we're seeing lots of beautiful creatures. Do you see a bumblebee? What about a butterfly? I see a bird and a beetle. And what about the plants? Do you see a flower? Blueberries? Maybe some mushrooms? Wow, lots of beautiful creatures. Wonders of Nature. This book is by Jane Werner Watson and illustrated by Eloise Wilkin. That means that Eloise drew the pictures of this book. Isn't it a wonder the way the woods know that spring is coming before the snow is gone? The sleeping plants send up green shoots and the tree buds swell and burst. Did you know, friends, that it's almost spring now? This week will be the first day of spring. Look at the birds. What is this bird? Is that a woodpecker? <clears throat> Isn't it a wonder that some seeds have wings, like the maple? The elm, the ash, or the milkweed. And some have tiny silken parachutes, like the dandelion. And some seeds are hidden away in fruits, like the apple, <clears throat> or the corn and the beans. And that every seed, no matter how tiny, has a whole tiny plant inside with food to use when it starts to grow. Isn't it a wonder that under the sea there are beautiful strange gardens where the flowers are animals? Sea anemones, Sea lilies, sea cucumbers, and sea grapes are all animals. Isn't it a wonder that tiny coral animals under the sea, which never move, build great towers and whole islands of their tiny shells. Isn't it a wonder that on the desert, some plants have thick stems in which they store water and no leaves at all and lots of prickly spines to keep other thirsty animals from eating them up. And the kangaroo rat who lives on the desert never drinks water, but makes it in his body out of crisp, dry seeds.
Isn't it a wonder that the beaver can bite a young tree through in just a few minutes? He bites off the branches and uses them to build a dam across the stream. Look how hard he's working. And all the birds around and the squirrels and possums, the deer and the moose enjoy that beaver pond. Do you know what this dam is? What is he creating? He's using these sticks to block the water. See how the water flows down here? But up here the water is still. He stopped it from flowing down. Now the deer and the moose can drink. Isn't it a wonder that in the jungles, the leaves grow so thickly overhead that some birds and animals on the ground never see the sun? And there are insects, insects that look just like leaves. Trees start growing high in the air on top of other trees and send their spindly roots down to the ground. Isn't it a wonder that far up north in the land of ice and snow we call the Arctic? Animals have winter coats of fur as white as the snow. Isn't it a wonder that some birds fly thousands of miles over the ocean and the land and return to the same special spots to lay their eggs? That salmon swim hundreds of miles to shore and far up the rivers and over the waterfalls to return to the same special spots to lay their eggs. Do you know what salmon are? There are these fish. Isn't it a wonder that fireflies have lights in their bodies that they can flash on and off? That crickets chirp by rubbing their wings? That some fish deep in the ocean have little electric lights dangling in front of their noses as they swim? Look at this angler. Do you see this really, really interesting light on his head? I wonder what he uses that for. Do you think that that might attract smaller fish for him to eat? or little lights along their sides. This is called a firefly fish. Why do you think they call him that? You see these little lights on his body? How strange and interesting. Isn't it a wonder that out in the pond, smooth, wiggly tadpoles lose their tails and grow legs and turn into frogs? Oh my goodness. These are just like the tadpoles we had in our classrooms. They started as these little eggs then they became tadpoles. Look, this one's starting to grow his legs and this one's almost ready to go to land, just like the frog. And that fuzzy caterpillars weave silken cocoons around themselves and go to sleep, then wake up as pretty moths or butterflies. Wow. There's the caterpillar. What is this? Can you see the caterpillar inside? Looks like he's inside of his cocoon or chrysalis. 
What do you think he's going to look like when he comes out? Maybe like a beautiful moth or butterfly like we see here. Isn't it a wonder that a little baby that couldn't walk or talk or feed itself should grow up to be you? The end. I'm so glad that you all could come and share this story with me today. I hope you'll join us again next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.